Hey guys, it's Amy. This is such an awkward angle, but I am at Barnes & Noble. That's my hand. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I am going to try to find two things. First of all, I need to get a book that is not able to be shipped. Um, I guess they're out of stock online and it's only available in store. It is the new Sarah J Mass book, which is called A Court of Silver Flames. And then uh, we're gonna try to find the Beat Essential album by BTS. <laughs> so originally I wanted to do an online order with Target and just do a curbside pickup, but apparently the Targets in my area don't have it, or at least that's what the online inventory is saying. So yeah, I'm just not gonna risk it and go in there. I don't wanna make multiple stops, you know? And honestly, I haven't left my house to go shopping in person since March of last year. This is my first outing. So yeah, hopefully everything goes well. I've got my mask, I'm ready to go. <laughs> but I figure I can kind of kill two birds with one stone, get the album, and also get the book. So yes. Oh, and I did pre-order it from Amazon, but now they're saying that I won't get here until mid-March. So I just really don't want to wait for it. Um, yeah, okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm back and I'm sorry if you can hear my car running. It's so cold outside, so I have the heat on really low, but man, it was just, it was interesting the way that they had very, very little stock, but I did manage to get the book and this is the exclusive edition because it has um, an extra bonus chapter. So that was why I wanted that edition. I did get another book too. I got a thriller by Peter Swanson. I really like his thrillers a lot and they're just always really easy, consumable uh, thrillers that I always quite enjoy. And there's usually a lot of multiple perspectives. So I'm assuming this one will have it too. But here we go. I did get <laughs> the Essential album. Here it is, but they only had one copy. That's right, I even talked to someone. Um, well, it was sort of by accident. I went straight to the back where their music section is. And I, as you can see, I vlogged it. Their, their K-pop table was very, very sad. They only had one. Um, I had planned to get two because I'm hoping to at least collect Tay's photo, uh, selfie photo card, as well as the group photo card. But um, as you can see, I only got one, that's fine. Um, you know, it is what it is. And while I was there, I was actually browsing some other things and I heard someone, well, one of the employees was on the phone and someone was asking if they had these in stock. And another employee was like, oh yes, I swore I put one on the table. And then I, I popped up and I was like, sorry, I grabbed it. <laughs> so whoever wanted to know if they had this in stock at your local Barnes and Noble, I showed up right when they opened and I got it. I'm so sorry, but I just cannot believe that. They literally only had one, but okay. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna eat some lunch, even though it's still morning, but I'm hungry. I didn't really eat breakfast. And then I will unbox this. So I will see you in a little bit. All right, we are back and we're at my desk where we can unbox everything. So if you skip to this part of my video, I did mention in the vlogging portion that my Barnes & Noble only got one copy and I was really lucky that I got there right when they opened and I was able to grab this last copy. I still can't believe that a whole Barnes & Noble only got one copy of this 
and I heard that so many people were having problems finding them at Target. You know, I, obviously I couldn't find any at Target either, at least through the app. I mean, like I didn't physically go into a Target to check, but I know that their online inventory was telling me that they didn't have it. I'm sorry, my cat is in here today if you hear her, but I did grab some Starbucks on the way home because I needed some breakfast and I got some food and everything. But I thought that also after I unbox, I'm going to put them away in my binder because I already prepped a little section for it. And I also grabbed this other copy that I have of the B Deluxe Edition. This is one that I haven't opened yet because back in the day when it came out, I bought two copies and I got a third one for free. This was when Target had them in stock and yeah. <laughs> but I thought that it would be nice to show you a little comparison between the two. Yeah, as you can see, um, the Deluxe Edition is much thicker, but from what I found out, all the tracks, all the music is exactly the same. There's no um, bonus tracks or anything from what I understand. Okay, let's go ahead and just start opening things. I'm trying to remember everything here about these. And I know that the photo cards come with a full set of seven that look really similar to the ones in the deluxe edition. And I can show a comparison in a little bit once I get my binder opened. At first I thought they were the same, but I did remember um, seeing how the blurry preview image of Jin's and Hobie's looked a little different. So I was like, is that all in my head or is it actually different? <laughs> so they are slightly different, but a huge difference with the inclusions this time is that uh, there's going to be one selfie photo card. Now, I was not able to order mine from Weverse Global because they will not ship these albums to the US. So that did not qualify me for the pre-order benefit but anyways i'm excited and i did join a go so that i could get the pre-order benefit because i'm hoping to get tay's pre-order benefit card i really don't know how this is going to work like where the photo card is going to be i'm assuming it's going to be in this photo book and i think um what else oh yeah and obviously as you could tell that i removed it their little grammy and hot 100 uh sticker are removable well they're still on the wrap but i think what i'm gonna do is just cut these out and save it because i think it's just you know it's an iconic moment for them okay i think this is going to be maybe a poster and the cd yep cd right there and then we've got a poster which um i won't be using but my camera is just not enjoying all this. <laughs> this is so hard to see. I'm sorry, I can't really move my tripod. Okay, I've got the photo book and where are all the photo cards? Are they all in the, oh wow, they are literally all in the front. Okay, now let's take a look at this. Ooh. That's interesting. It's a really interesting perspective. I have seen like some of these spoilers, but not all of them. Wow. This is so beautiful. I love JK's concept. I love Jimin's too. Honestly, I think Jimin's is my favorite concept. I think I may have said that before when I unboxed it, um, when I unboxed the deluxe edition anyways. What is this on my desk? Try not to make this last um, too long, but yeah. Oh my gosh, Tay. His room is so him, or his concepts with like the violins and the cameras. Oh, love it. Oh, these are cute too. I didn't know that there was going to be another section like this. <laughs> these are so nice. Okay. So... 
oh my god hello yeah we've definitely seen these ones before and then the track list lyrics thank you notes all right that's it for that now let's do the photo cards and i think these are the couch ones this one is going to be the selfie so let's just flip him over Jin, oh my god look at that and i think he might have a little scuff on oh my god does he have a little scuff like right above his eye no freaking way that might come off though but he's so cute oh my gosh yeah i actually didn't really care who i pulled since i did join a go and they're going to be doing photo card sorting so at least um I have a good chance of maybe getting a uh, Tay a bit later. Okay, these are the couch photo cards. Let's try to go through all. <laughs> so cute. It really wants to. I'm gonna have to flip him back over because it, the camera really wants to focus on his face, which I mean, I know it's worldwide handsome. Of course, it's gonna want to focus on him. JK's concept is so nice too. Okay, so yes, un unlike the deluxe edition, it had uh, two OT7 cards, and this one doesn't have any unless you pull it at random as one of these. Okay, let's sort everything into my binder. Okay, let me sleeve these real quick. And you know what I was just thinking is that I was contemplating maybe collecting just my bias line for this album and the reason is because when I saw the spoiler for JK's uh, selfie card I was like oh my gosh I really really liked it too so I'm thinking maybe what I'll do is keep Jin I'll just keep him because he does have this little smudge on him so I'm like I'm not gonna try to trade one that is smudged it's not going to like I don't know bother me to put this in my binder either so I might just keep him and then when I get my other orders from Amazon, hopefully I will have a JK in there or maybe the OT7 card. So yeah, I think that's going to be my plan. I think we're going to do that. I think what I'll do is I will collect Tay's selfie card, obviously, and then we'll have Jin's and then JK's because they are my bias line. Um, I don't think I'll get their pre-order benefit cards though unless by some miracle they're not insanely overpriced anywhere which yeah not gonna hold my breath on that one so maybe I'll do that yeah so that's going to kind of mess up the way I have my binder currently set up <laughs> so, I don't know we'll, we'll, we'll see we'll see get all these set up and uh, I don't think they're facing the same direction but whatever I'm gonna make them face the same direction in my binder okay those are ready I zoomed out a little bit so hopefully you can see so this is the page that has the deluxe photo cards and let me remove these real quick just so that we can ignore these these are the lucky draw cards and back when the B deluxe edition came out if you live in Korea you had the opportunity to buy that album and then go up to this giant like dispensing machine push a button and then these would just plop right out um, <laughs> they're kind of like harder and plastic material and kind of like a nicer quality than regular photo cards but because they were only available you know in Korea for a Korean army so um, the only way for me to get them was to just get them on eBay which kind of kind of sucked but I am so so glad to have them but I just wasn't sure how I was going to arrange these in my binder so I remember I was watching uh, trade pedals videos and I love how they have this video just talking about how to make your binder pages look a bit more aesthetic so took their advice and I was like okay well I don't know what to do <laughs> with these random lucky draws so I'm like you know what we'll just put him in the middle because he's got the solid background and then 
the other Tay ones that have a green background will just go on the sides. And then I put like the darker toned photos down here, lighter tones up here, and then Namjoon's couch matches the orange in Tay's sweater. Jimin's card has brown tones that matches this Tay card. So I'm like, all right. I mean, I think it looks okay, but the reason I'm saying all this is because I'm probably going to follow a similar format for the Essential. I ended up putting the 027 cards from the Deluxe Edition up there, and if I get the Essential group card, I'll probably just put it right here. Of course, that's all going to determine if I end up also collecting uh, JK's selfie card and keeping Jin's selfie card. But the way I had things set up for now was that I was just going to put the couch cards up here and then Tay's selfie and his pre-order benefit card there. So I don't know. Um, let me just get all these put away first though. So I'm going to put Jin up here because he's in the same spot in the first page there. So as you can see, He's a bit farther away in that image, and this one it's a bit more up close, and his hands are posed slightly differently. So yeah, they're really, you know, the exact same concepts, the same photo shoot. The cards are very, very similar. They're so similar that at first I did a double take because I couldn't even like tell if they were going to be the same or not. Hobie, Hobie's definitely looks a lot different. Yeah, what is he doing in the other one? Oh, he's just lying down. Then Tay on the couch. Okay, I'm doing him in the middle um, because this one is horizontal and then the selfie and then the Weverse pre-order benefit, they're both vertical. So we're kind of doing the opposite of what we did on the previous page. But yeah, because Tay's my bias, I just wanted him to have Kind of like the center, you know, it's just sort of what I thought would um, be nice. And yeah, I mean, really, if if it's your binder, you can decorate it however you want. <laughs> Not everything has to, you know, be in a specific order. Okay, and then Jimin's. And I like that there's green tones in both of these. Okay, and then JK. All right, so what I'm thinking is if I do end up getting JK's selfie photo card, I might put it here because I know that these two might end up having different backs anyways. So I think I'll put Jin here and then maybe JK here if I get them. I don't know, I still need to decide this was sort of like a spur in the moment decision because I really wasn't expecting to pull Jin, but the idea of having a bias line of just the selfie photo cards was something that, I don't know, appealed to me. Of course I could always expand that and maybe just do OT7 selfie photo cards, <laughs> but I don't know if I'm going to do that honestly. I know that's going to get really expensive. Okay, so that is going to be it for today's little video. I hope that the half vlogging and half unboxing was an okay format. Um, this is my first time kind of doing something like this for this channel, but I will keep you posted on what I actually end up deciding to do in terms of collecting. But yeah, that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a good day. Bye!